Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Edmonds Mom's Room podcast. This is Dr. Allison Felt with Body Motion Physical Therapy, and I hope all is well with you today. This episode is going to be just me talking about some of the things that we see um, with pregnant women. And so any of your friends that are pregnant or hoping to be pregnant um, or looking to conceive in the next couple of years, this will be a nice, relevant podcast for you to send to them. So I want to just start by saying it's not that common to think okay, I'm pregnant, you find out you're pregnant, you don't necessarily think to call a pelvic PT. Usually the first thing on people's mind are let's find an OB and then that will kind of determine where they deliver depending on who their provider is. But I would highly recommend that the minute you find out you are pregnant, that you take some time to start, number one, by deciding where you want to deliver. So from there, whether that's a hospital, a birth center, or maybe you want to have a home birth. So these are all places where people deliver. And in the state of Washington, these are all legal places for women to deliver. And there are midwives that do home births and midwives that do hospital births and family medicine doctors who do hospital births and also OB providers. So that do hospital births as, births as well. To my knowledge, I don't know of anyone who, any OB or medical doctors who do uh, birth center births or home births, but there might be some out there. So that is the first thing to consider, really thinking about where you want to deliver, and from there, finding a provider. The most essential providers that you can have on your team is your the person who's going to help make sure that your baby is healthy during pregnancy and help make sure that you're healthy during pregnancy, and then also um, you know, help you deliver that baby. I would say, other than that, equally to that, even equally to that, is to have a pelvic expert physical therapist on your birth team so they can help your body as it changes tremendously over 10 months. And they can really help prepare you for the delivery. So a lot of women go through their whole pregnancy and it's really trendy right now to not have a birth plan and to be really okay with whatever happens. I think deep Deeply, a lot of women and people believe that they want to have a vaginal delivery and they maybe want to have a no epidural birth, but are afraid to say it, at least out loud. But I think it's really important to know what you want and to, and to have a plan because if you don't have a plan, um, but you still have desires, then you're just not supporting your desires. You're not acknowledging your desires. And then that is going to lead to more trauma because if you do have these deep seated desires, you want to have a plan to carry those out. And I'm not saying don't be flexible because honestly, anything can happen with birth, but there's so much you can do to be prepared for carrying out your plan. And the more your brain has a plan to execute whatever your deep-seated desires are, the more you have an actual map and your brain knows how to carry it out if you have a plan or if you've been training for your whatever delivery that is. So I'm kicking off the episode with that. The other stat that I want to just give you is that from a 2000, from 2017 at least, in the United States, the C-section rate was 32%. So 32% of people end up having cesareans, um, you know, with birth. And that is really, really high. And, um, you know, this a cesarean is a massive, massive surgery that takes a lot of healing afterwards. And a vaginal delivery is also a massive um, event for the body that takes healing afterwards. But, you know, it's not as risky and there's not as many, um, you're not putting yourself at risk as much as you are when you do have a a C-section. So if your desire is to have a vaginal delivery and you want to do everything possible in order to achieve that, then let's talk about that. So that's what this episode is going to be about. 
And even if you've had a cesarean and you're hoping to have a VBAC, this is a great episode for you as well. I want to discuss the importance of preparing for that. So I briefly mentioned having a pelvic floor, a pelvic expert physical therapist on your team, having a supportive primary care provider. So whether that's your OB, your midwife, um, whoever that is for you, that's going to birth your child or help you birth your child. Um, those are really important people. Of course, um, a lot of people love having doulas and in some upcoming episodes we are going to get some doulas on the podcast so we can really talk about the role of a doula for birth support. Also the role of a doula for postpartum care. Um, that's a really underutilized resource and I myself am not even educated to everything that doulas do. So I'm excited to bring some experts in the field for you. And we actually had um, Sharon Musa on the podcast in the earlier, um, in 2020. And she is also a doula. We mainly talked about her childbirth education classes, but we will, we'll definitely get some doulas on that talk about just doula work. And I'm excited for that too. And so having your provider, having your PT on board, having a doula to support you can really help you achieve the outcomes you want. Some people also find that chiropractic care is helpful for them preparing for a vaginal delivery and acupuncture can be helpful for preparing for a vaginal delivery. Um, there's different rationales for that. You can check out an episode with Dr. Matt from Edmonds Family Chiropractic, and he kind of explains how um, chiropractic care can help prepare the pelvis for delivery and help prepare the, the body. And then um, there's also an, an episode from Lindsay at Quinn Yon uh, Acupuncture, and she talks about um, the importance of acupuncture for preparing for delivery as well and for calming the nervous system in order to help you go into labor on your own without needing to be induced. So anytime we talk about being induced, that is a medical intervention. And the minute you start having medical interventions, the likelihood that you'll have more medical interventions increases with every intervention. So that's why a lot of people are scared to honestly be induced and induction shouldn't necessarily be the, um, the first thing, you know, on your mind if you're overdue or um, there are medical necessities for being induced, like preeclampsia and um, other issues that will, you know, require you to, save, to be induced so you can safely have a baby vaginally. But, um, you know, just being overdue isn't necessarily an indication for having an induction. So those are just some of the, I, I got a little carried away, but those are some of the providers that can help um, during your pregnancy and really help you prepare for birth. What I find is the most essential, I'm completely biased because I'm a pelvic floor PT, but I have a really unique position because I see people prenatally and I know what kind of births they can have. And I see people postpartum either that did pelvic floor PT or didn't do pelvic floor PT. And um, there's a huge difference in the quality of their muscles in their recovery process. And we also see people in their, you know, after they've had babies in their mid forties and fifties and sixties. And most of those people haven't had um, prenatal pelvic PT. So when we talk about prenatal pelvic PT, what this should include for you is it should include a comprehensive program to help with your flexibility. So relaxing in the body is already going to increase the flexibility of your joints. So we want to make sure that your muscles can keep up with your joints and support them from a strength perspective, but also be able to open open as your pelvis is going to open for birth. So with, with flexibility, a lot of times because the relaxin will increase the flexibility of the joints, oftentimes the muscles will get really tight. So this is true for really everything in your body during pregnancy, but especially the pelvic floor. And if your pelvic floor is really tight, it's going to be really hard for a baby to come through there. So a huge thing that we do as part of our prenatal protocols and really helping women have vaginal deliveries is 
internal manual releases, so intravaginal through the vaginal canal, assessing all the layers of the muscles. So there's three layers of muscles and fascia, and we make sure that those move. If you've heard me talk before, you know I say that oftentimes when these muscles get really tight, they almost get dehydrated and they'll feel like beef jerky. And when that's the case, they're not healthy muscles. So in order for you to have a vaginal delivery, you have to be able to relax your pelvic floor, bulge down, and also to contract. But for the delivery itself, you'll need to be able to open, relaxing your pelvic floor, and be able to bulge. Some people have a really tight resting tone of their pelvic floor. So what that means is that they just don't open very far. They, they stay really, really tight or taut. And a, uh, when a baby's trying to come through a birth canal, that makes it extremely hard for the baby to come all the way through. So um, it's important to address that early on in pregnancy. We usually start that around 12 weeks, and then we can come up with a plan to keep the, the tissue healthy and flexible and being able to bulge and push um, throughout the pregnancy. So that is what a pelvic expert PT will, you know, should do for you, along with giving you a good core routine to keep your core really strong when you're having, um, you know, as your body is changing through pregnancy, and then also to help with body mechanics so that you're safely moving your body, getting in and out of car or getting out of bed to really help prevent injury. So whether that's SI pain or diastasis recti or different injuries that can come along with being pregnant and that we see commonly. So in my opinion, there's no one better to see than a pelvic expert physical therapist, one that will spend quality time with you doing manual therapy, doing intravaginal releases, and really cueing you and teaching you how to use your muscles and keeping you open and helping you open the pelvis to prepare for birth. So that is the role that we play. It is ex for our practice here in Edmonds at Body Motion Physical Therapy. It's an extremely effective tool to really to really have the delivery of your dreams. We have so many clients who come in and maybe they heard about us through a friend or found us on the internet or you know saw some Instagram stuff and they are like signing, you know, they want to do this and they maybe think that they've had pelvic floor dysfunction or they just want to be super preventative so they can get back to CrossFit, you know, quickly or get back to running quickly. And I will tell you that, um, you know, some of these people that come in, I, when I first feel their pelvic floors, I'm like, this might be a C-section if you don't come here. And, you know, we're so grateful that we, we can make such a massive impact on the actual pelvis itself. And I just wish this was standard practice for everyone that is pregnant in America. And it, it absolutely should be investing in yourself prenatally is going to save you literally millions. <laughs> like it's not just going to save you a surgery from your, you know, save you a cesarean. And obviously there's medical emergencies that we can't control. And so, you know, we can't guarantee any specific results, but we can d definitely guarantee that you'll be ready for your delivery. But it's going to save you in the long run because the minute you have a C-section, your core is weak and you have to heal from that. And that takes a lot of time and a lot more visits, a lot more physical therapy, a lot more intervention to help your core recover. And not only that, but then, you know, it's a lifelong of making sure that scar tissue isn't adhesed, making sure that your core stays strong and your pelvis comes back together. It's an important for a vaginal delivery and a C-section. I would just say it's a little bit harder with a C-section. So all the more reason to avoid that and save from future surgeries of wearing out joints. And so I highly recommend it. It's such a good investment. And um, especially if you have that like deep seated desire to have a vaginal delivery, you, you will not go wrong with this. So for people that can't come for in-person sessions or, um, you know, aren't going to make the trek to Edmonds, Washington, we developed this birth prep program. And so it's the birth, birth prep that no one tells you about. 
how to optimize your body during pregnancy and learn how to push. So that's what this program is. I really developed this because I have so many friends all over the country because I went to college in Chicago and spent a lot of time in Chicago. So, and I played hockey there. So I have friends in Canada and all across the country that I, I played with in college. And every time someone tells me they're having a baby, they want to know what they should do. And I want to give them everything, but it's hard to put it together. So finally, after years of piecemealing it together for friends, I decided to put it together in a, in a program. So now it's an online program that you can get. It's only $97 and it is, it's seriously a great investment, especially if you can't come in for our specific like prenatal protocols that we do here in clinic. It is such a great investment because it's going to show you the mobility stretches that you should be doing during pregnancy, the body mechanics, getting in and out of cars, getting in and out of the bed, um, sitting postures, regular postures. It's going to show you breathing patterns and pelvic floor coordination, which is not just helpful for this pregnancy. This is going to be helpful for the rest of your life. It's going to teach you how to push a baby out so you actually know how to do this and decrease your risk of tearing. It's going to give you a self-release section, so how to do your own releases. And then it's also going to give you core work to help, help you stay strong during your entire pregnancy. And then I would say one of the most important things is the pelvic floor meditation for birth. So really this talks about what is happening in your body and how to help manage contractions and visualize so you can, you can really start training your brain and creating that mental map so your brain knows what to do when the baby's coming out of your body. So that's why we created this program. I wish we could just like every single pregnant person could have this. And um, I hope that you will send this to your friends. Maybe it's a baby shower gift, um, but specifically if you're pregnant and you are really like have that deep seated desire to have a vaginal delivery, have that deep seated desire to have, you know, the lowest intervention possible delivery. This program is definitely for you. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at info at bodymotionpt.com or through our website at bodymotionpt.com or on Instagram and Facebook at bodymotionpt. So thank you so much for listening to this. And I hope it's given you some insight into how to prepare for deliv delivering your baby the way that you want to and hopefully empowering you to know that you actually have control over this and you don't have to just go into your delivery blinded by what you don't know um, and just praying for the best. Instead, you're creating, not just manifesting and praying, but you are actually doing the work to prepare your body for this, this experience, which is birth. And um, a lot of this has been said many times before, but I think it's a great analogy. If you go in to run a marathon and you haven't been running or you haven't worked up to the marathon, how your body is not going to handle that marathon very well. And if you finish, you will finish with injury because your body, you know, wasn't expecting that. And the body's not meant to just go off and do that on a whim. So training for that is really important. And I think using the 10 months of your pregnancy to really train for your delivery is absolutely essential in having a vaginal delivery and really being prepared for that and optimizing your body for the outcome that you want. So good luck to you and I wish you all the best and let us know if you have questions. Goodbye. The Edmonds Moms Room podcast is brought to you by Body Motion Physical Therapy. We help women through pregnancy and beyond so they can live active, confident, and healthy lives.